How do you select music for your films? Documentary or features? Okay, I have a certain standard. I have a thing called memorable music and uh, serviceable music. Serviceable music works for the production. Chicago's a great example. Loved the play, loved the film. By the time you get to your car, you forget all the music, except maybe all that jazz or something like that, because it's serviceable music, it's not memorable. It services the production. Memorable music, you take it for life. Forbidden Zone, the cinematography can't be compared to Chicago, but we have better music. And it's still, I look for things, both classics that people no longer hear or original things that my brother does that are memorable. And that's why Forbidden Zone has legs, is the music is as good today as it was 40 years ago. It, it, time just burnishes it. A, a good example of that is, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? And those were memorable music pieces that were buried in plain sight. And it, it took, I think it was T-Bone Burnett, who works for the uh, Coen brothers, you know, to resurrect these tunes. Yeah, the, the radio station K-Rock, when, uh -huh. did, when did you first get involved with them years ago? Well, they, they were huge fans of the early Oingo Boingo and, and very supportive throughout the 80s. And by the way, uh, Hipsters, Gangsters, Aliens and Geeks is going to be filled with memorable music, I guarantee you. We've licensed, uh, it, it has a Latin, it's a Danny Elfman flavor in outer space and kind of a Latin hipster flavor on earth. And uh, we've got some amazing cumbias from Colombia from the 50s, as well as original Danny Elfman music. 